In this question, you have to sketch the cubic function y equals 2 in brackets x minus 1 cubed plus 4 and show all intercepts and any stationary points. So first of all, this is a cubic function and when it's in this form, you can get the stationary point of in inflection from the equation. So the way you do that, it's very similar to getting the, the turning point from a quadratic equation and it's the value of x that makes this, this bracket 0, which is 1, and whatever this number here is, and 4. So that's the where the stationary point of inflection is at, 1, 4. From there, you need to get the y-intercept, and letting x equal 0, you end up with y equals 2 bracket minus 1 cubed plus 4, and that's equal to 2 times minus 1 plus 4, this equals minus 2 plus 4 equals 2. And then the x-intercept, by letting y equal 0, you get 0 equals 2. And then from there, minusing 4 from both sides, or from here you could just say that that equals minus 4. So, and then dividing both sides by 2, you get x minus 1 cubed equals minus 4 on 2. And from there, you want to take the cube root of both sides. So I'll do this step first. So x minus 1 cubed equals minus 2. And then taking the cube root of all of that will undo that 3. And doing the same thing over here. So the cube root of minus 2. And then adding 1 to both sides, you end up with x equals the cube root of minus 2 plus 1. And that is approximately equal to minus 1 point. And then... I can put all of these on a set of axes and sketch the graph. So starting with the stationary point of inflection at 1, 4, let's say that's about here. And then the y-intercept is 2, and that's going to be, so if that's 4, then 2 is going to be about halfway. And so the graph's going to be coming up through the x-axis to up to there, and then doing something like that. So I'll draw it in. This is roughly the shape heading off to minus infinity on the left and positive infinity. And so there's the y-intercept and this x-intercept in here, minus 1.26. And then this is the stationary point of inflection, 1, 4. And there is the cubic function drawn. In the second example, sketch the cubic function y equals 2 thirds x cubed minus 6. And again, this is in stationary point of inflection form. So anytime you've got x cubed as the only x term or you've got x plus or minus something in a bracket cubed, that's in stationary point of inflection form. So again, first step, find what some of my students call spoil. I guess it's easier than saying stationary point of inflection. And because that's just x cubed, that's really x minus or x plus 0 in a bracket cubed. So the value of x that would make that bracket 0 would be 0. That is 0. And then the number at the end here, the minus 6. And this is just a dilation factor. Uh, you don't really need to worry about that unless you're drawing the graph on a scale that's got a marked scale. Then it does become important. So, and really the way you do that is with um, just drawing all your intercepts and stationary points at the right points and making a nice smooth curve. So show all intercepts once again, the y-intercept, x equals 0. So y equals 2 thirds times 0 cubed, which is 0, and then minus 6. That equals 0, and then that equals minus 6. So that's the y-intercept. x-intercept, let y equals 0. So 0 equals 2 thirds x cubed minus 6, then all of that will equal positive 6, so doing that. And then to get rid of 2 thirds, just times by 3 on 2 to both sides, so you end up with x cubed equals 6 times 3 on 2. When you've got a whole number times a fraction, you're only timesing this by the top of the fraction, so 6 3 is 18, and 18 divided by 2 is 9, so x cubed equals 9, and so x is equal to the cube root of 9. And another way of writing that, you could write it as 9 to the power 1 third. And then on the calculator, that's approximately equal to 2.0801 to 4 places. 
and now I will sketch the graph. And there's the graph, and I've put a scale on so I can give it a little bit of accuracy. And this point really should be closer to the two than where it actually is. And so there's the graph. There's the stationary point of inflection at zero minus six, y-intercept of minus six also, and then the x-intercept here of 2.0801. So there's the graph of this cubic function, and that's it for this lesson.